All right, guys, what's going on? It's not welcome along. Welcome along to something rather special. So uh, we all know I like Celeste. We all know I like Portal. But have I ever considered what they'll be like together? Honestly, no. But tonight we are going to find out what they are like together. We are going to play the Celeste mod for Portal 2 featuring mechanics and strawberries and the whole lot. It's part of the Portal 2 speed run mod. I will chuck a link down in the description if you want to check this out. The speed run mod originally was, um, I believe, um, cuts out the um, cutscenes and improves loading time between levels. And then this sort of extension was added on as well. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited to see how we're going to um, jump into this. Uh, as you see, there's various different uh, bits and pieces, but we are going to be going into the Celeste mode. <laughs> if you want, uh, I tell you what, if you want to uh, have a look at it yourself, because, you know, I don't want to exclude anybody. That would be, that'd be very rude of me, wouldn't it? Um, I'm sure Megish has got one anyway, sitting right there. Where is mine? I'm sure I'll put it on this one. I'm sure I put it on my big sheet. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Put that many on this sheet. Ha! Huh. I'll tell you what, Megist, uh, could you please provide everybody with a link to the mod? I don't appear to have one for some reason on my list. And I don't know why I'm sure I added it. But hey-ho. Hey-ho. Uh, anyway, so without further ado, let us jump in to the Celeste mod. I am a professional streamer, it's just that my um, housekeeping and maintenance isn't so good. <laughs> Hello, and again welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right, so we've got our normal sort of jumping. And as we can see here, we have the wall climb. Which clearly I'm pretty good at. Or at least you can see this is going to go well. So we get flash to screen when we're running out of stamina, which is quite nice. So, um, oh yes, there is actual strawberries. We ain't no baby. So the idea behind the strawberries, I think for the like general gist of the playthrough... I don't think I'll be going for like every single strawberry um, in the initial playthrough. Whether I decide to then do strawberries for YouTube or not afterwards, I don't know. But I just kind of want to like get through the mod, try and collect a few strawberries at least, and then we'll decide whether or not we'll do it afterwards. I probably will stream the strawberries, but whether I do it for um, YouTube or not is another thing. So. What I kind of just give you kind of like a thanks for the uh, thanks for the link, Mega. So yeah, you can literally like Celeste, you can grab onto walls and climb up walls. So there's all that sort of thing um, we've got going on here, which is pretty darn sweet. Um, I will say as well, you will you will see um, you will see a lot of um, no draws and sort of broken things that you're not normally meant to see because it's my understanding is you know they, they the developer of the mod hasn't actually like optimized it for um kind of like use and stuff ah okay that's that's a good tip i guess it doesn't say how it's not how many are remaining it's just how many are in the map right is that correct Just 
wait for that confirmation from Megas before we move on. Yo, Space Kitten, what's going on, buddy? Welcome along, hope you're well. I guess. I just want that confirmation. Listen to the, just like the ambience in that chamber before. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Too late. <laughs> I've gone. <laughs> well, we can test that. We can test it in future. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are oh, okay. Okay. So I'm simply yeah. experiencing a rare reaction in which Mika, what's going on? Welcome along. Hope you're well. Welcome along head. to this absolute madness that's going to be madness. You're going to see Portal 2 in a whole new light. Alright, so we've got one berry to collect on this level. And I know where this one is actually, because this is one that I did actually get um, when I was testing things out. And it is all the way up in the up there look it's all the way up there and i gotta remember how to do this I think i climbed up here right up to here and then we somehow got onto that pipe didn't we there is dashing but i haven't learned the dashing mechanic yet so almost like the the actual main game um you kind of like have to go so far before you learn that mechanic but it is coming don't worry it's coming. So yeah, we kind of did that. And then I'm sure I walked over here. And then we need to climb up onto this one over here. Because my understanding is there's no, there's no portal gun. So everything is done using Celeste mechanics. And just like that, we got berry number two. Huzzah. All right, which side is the... Which side is the cube in? The cube's in this side, right? Yep. So we can drop down this one. And place it there. Berry spot. That's, that's, that's berry punny money. Haha. <laughs> Right back at you. <laughs> it's going to take me a while just to get kind of used to the uh, whole. Clearly, I'm I'm not ever going to be like trying to speed run this mod because uh, my movement mechanics are just absolutely terrible. And how do we get to the exit? The exit is there. There we go. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is uns I like the fact that you don't have to wait for the, the speech to finish in this if mod before like, the level a transitions. Animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of losing. Oh, there's two much. bears in this level. So there's two berries. We're going to be basically getting to, to areas and stuff that you're not meant to see at all. Now I think... Again, I did get up here um, previously. So this is like areas you're never meant to see. I did get up to here because this is where we fall down and this is where we learn the 
Um, this is where we learn the dash mechanic. So shift is now dash, so we can do something like this and this, which gets us up to these sort of locations. Uh, there's still one to get in this, so I haven't missed a berry yet, and I'm sure the berry is through here. Again, from when I did like testing and stuff, I'm sure the berry is through here. Sure, I could climb up here before. Maybe not. But after this level, then, the mod for me does become completely and utterly blind. Um, I don't know where I'm going or anything after this one, so it's uh, definitely going to get interesting. Huh, maybe I can't go up there. I'm sure I got up there before. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy. It's kind of a lot of it is about finding where those, um, finding where, um, props aren't solid. Yo, Fumbly, what is going on? Hope you're well. Can I get up here? Thank you very much. I think there it is. Yes. See, look, I wasn't going absolutely crazy at all. I knew it was up here. So yeah, this is the sort of thing I kind of warned about when we're kind of going for these out of bounds berries. You're going to see a lot of no clip. Going to see a lot of no clip. Oh wow, that's cool as well. It makes the berry noise as well. Didn't realize that. Clones? What are you talking about, fool? There we go. We have four berries. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate... Alright, so, from now on, this is completely blind. I haven't been past this part. I have no idea what we're doing. This there is one berry to find. Very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two... One. It's kind of going to be like a case of... It's going to kind of be a case of just trying walls and things, I guess. Why would there, why would there be clones? Can I... Actually, hold on, can I... Alright, so... I can't... dash out there maybe all right well that works uh, <laughs> mechanics are still a little bit um Take a bit of getting used to here. Clearly. Is there a way up to there? Is there anything up there even? No, that's solid. Might be able to get up here. Nope. So if I had to hazard a guess, I don't think the... <laughs> yeah, cubes is jellyfish fumbly. <laughs> I was going to say there was nothing up there. And there doesn't appear to be anything up there. If I had to make an assumption... This sort of looks a bit of a bigger area. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is actually what's known as the speedrun mod, Mika. Um, 
and somebody uh, somebody in their cruel intentions and their cruel mind decided to uh, throw Celeste into it and make a Celeste kind of version of it and uh, great work because I think it's fair to say, ever since, uh, Any observations related to your performance are ever since Megas has been in the channel, I think he's been waiting for this day to come. <laughs> I think it's fair to say. Megas has been waiting, eagerly anticipating that me to play this, so... Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great addition for, like, a speedrun. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing there's probably some... I guess there's like some extended categories, right, that this one would fit into because um, I know of like from the like the main vanilla uh, speedrun um, ele elevators and stuff, you kind of have to time you, you're going through the elevator, uh, going into the elevators on voice lines and stuff. Whereas this one, you don't actually have to do that. Uh, because it, it just basically transitions regardless of whether the voice line is playing. Also, I'm stuck. I broke it. I, I, I done did broke it. <laughs> well, this is our life now. Getting wedged in next to the camera. Good job, Knock. Good job. Am I in the camera or out of the camera? I can't really tell. 30 minutes. What's the... It's, the world record for vanilla, it's... Um, isn't it a bit over an hour? Is it? Is it less than an hour? No, it's not less than an hour, is it? All right, well, I don't see a way up to there, so... Just under an hour. Wow, so that means, like, with this mod, it's, like, 29 minutes? Jeez, that's, uh... That's an impressive thing. Feet. The door shut. I hear the berry. I hear it in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hey, Barry. Well, that was a bit of a disappointingly easy berry. The elevator is like pretty much instant, like transitioning to the to the next level, which is quite neat. Okay. If the enrichment center is currently being bombed, no pressure then, right? Meteorites or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Trying to listen out to uh, see if I can hear it anywhere. I can't hear it anywhere, and now I'm just wondering. I don't think there's not going to be a way up to there, is there? That's just going to be. That's just cruelty. Alright, so... Wow. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as one point... 
one bolt. I thought this was a different level. I thought there was like uh, another part to this. So. Hold on. I might see a way up here. Maybe. If I can do something like this, maybe. Can I jump into the pole? Yeah, I can jump in the pole. What you thinking? Oh, that's non-solid. Okay, that's interesting. particularly see another way though that I would why was it just like thinking out loud here why is there two cubes this puzzle one to put the stairs up and then Man, it's a long time since I played vanilla What the? <laughs> oh, this is quality. This is class. This is quality. <laughs> it's Madeline's car. <laughs> That's awesome. You don't remember the part where Madeline came into uh, Aperture Science, no? Oh, we got Goldberry. Oh, shite. Excuse my French. Um, Alright, so we've got two normal berries and a Goldberry on this level. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through ports. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Just um, just a quick question, Megus, about the mod. Um, a uh, simple yes or no will do. Is th are there any berries in like elevator rooms? That looks like a sort of place where you could like get leverage some height from. I think I could stand in there. Well, things and stuff are going to be up here, aren't they? I mean... This golden requires you to get the portal in the wrong spot. Uh, okay. How do I get up there though? There's only potentially one, okay. It's good to know. There's not a berry up there though, I don't know. I'll be very surprised, I just don't know how to get up there. T 
to uh, actually get at it for a start. Can I just like climb up here, please? If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. So is there anything in this in this room though? That's the That's the sixty-four million dollar pound question. Don't jump and climb and just hold W and look up. There is one here. Okay. Let's see if I can't get in here. Look. You say don't like jump though, but. If I don't jump, I don't, I'm not. If I don't start off jumping or dashing, though, I don't seem to be able to climb up the wall, which is. Oh, sorry. All right, all right, calm down. Calm down. Jeez. So, oh, poop. Sorry, me and my potty mouth, right? Okay. I keep falling through that frame. I don't know if the frame is non-solid, but... Non-solid? What, what am I even saying? Christ. I don't know if it's non-solid. <laughs> oh, Christ almighty. Okay, I wonder if I could do this like out the portal maybe? Do something like that maybe. Ah, okay, so maybe if I can grab onto the ledge, maybe that's doable. Okay, we're on something solid. We was. Okay. Okay. This is good. Do I need to go higher? Well. Okay, we're learning. We are learning. Is this solid?
Is that even a question? Always go higher. So where do I go higher from, though? That's a good point, probably. I never thought about that. Thank you for that tip. Wow. I'm really not very good at this, am I? Let's be honest. I can't now get up here. Okay. Uh, so how do I get up here? I feel like I got getting like scripted pushes from that portals. That was did the dash too early. And again. Maybe I should come back when I'm better at the game. That'll be never. <laughs> Jeez. You're trying to say I'm not very good at the game? How dare you? How dare you? on let me through this freaking gap again i just don't know where i can like get oh, i didn't mean to do that i meant to jump and do stuff it's fine just just say what everybody else is thinking i like honesty I can't get over there. Maybe I will come back to this then. Didn't didn't I make a comment at the beginning of this, um, beginning of like re the recording for YouTube that I wasn't gonna get hung up on berries and uh, we was maybe just gonna try for a little bit. But this is my try hard nature. This is my try hard nature. <laughs> Guys who have been around for a long time in the channel will know that I. Do not like to give up at anything. I do not like to give up. I can look up to go further. Okay. Woo! That sounds like a challenge. It sounds like you're challenging me. So, we got one. So I'm guessing the gold barrier is up there.
I would say as well that looks like a nice little spot to um, maybe hide a regular berry. Yep, there it is. Now the question is, I wonder, is there an easier way for me to... I wonder if I could like jump out of here, dash across to there and onto there maybe. Worth a try, right? What's painful about this berry, Megist? <laughs> Easy peasy. All right, so Saw the golden from what I just did. I mean, that's another way I could have done it as well, I suppose, and then just dashed across there. You see the golden. Oh. Quite clearly it's up there somewhere. Now you did say something about the... You said something about the only way to see it was... Or you had to put your portal in the wrong place or something. Which is interesting. Something like that. Or maybe the same but coming out of here. Mm. I think it would be more useful coming out of here. To come out of there, I'd kind of like have to turn first. It's not up there. Ha, huh, okay. It's not up there, yet you claim I could see it when I was flinging through here. See you later, Fumbly. Thanks for hanging. Enjoy Thursday. Okay. So... Does it involve Q? 
Okay. portals to get it though, surely oh, there's a way to shoot a portal in there. So that would then lead me to believe that there is a gap somewhere on this frame. Am I barking up the right tree? But the question is, where do I need to? That's the Boston, London, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I'm guessing that there's a gap all the way around here. Here or something. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To be right in front of it and shoot to the left side. So, as in, like, standing over there. Just shoot everywhere! <laughs> Needs to be looking at the ceiling. We'll need to look at the scene, and that would mean I'd want to be like down here, though, no? Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> That's something. That is really something. No, no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But that kind of just doesn't really offer a lot for... I mean, that is all portable, but... The scene is not portable. Oh, I suppose it is from, like, over here. Where is that? Can't even see like the gap from like this side, which is madness. Obviously it doesn't help because the, the no clip of the the no draw around it, so you can't see that you would instantly think that this was like a way to shoot through it, but obviously it's not. Alright, well, let's adhere to advice and we'll just ignore Goldens for now. You know, we're nearly a minute, an hour in already and we're not even through the first chapter. This has gone a tick to longer than I thought. For core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment this Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. I know straight away I can get up here because this is vanilla speedrun strat. To get kind of up in this area over here at least. I feel like they've done quite a good job with like the sound effects on the berries as well. It says berry number one. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, gotta kind of remember, I suppose, that I'm not really naturally a, a speedrunner of this game. I've attempted the speedrun a couple of times, but, and I have got, I think I may have submitted a time once, but that's about as far as I go. Is that Wheatley, the Wheatley Berry? Quantum berry. Why do you normally come over? You normally come over there, don't you? And across that bit in the vanilla speed run, so. Says. Uh, 
I need to remember to keep. I need to remember to press grab. That's what I'm not doing a lot of the time. So. You know what? I've fallen into that gap again, haven't I? Yes, I have. What a doofus. So what, are they kind of like... Um, it's the portless berries. Are they kind of like the golden berries from... Um, like City? Like a, Are they kind of like a winged berry? So like if I... Use a portal in the room... As opposed to like dashing in Celeste... Would that like make it disappear? I like the way it works. Okay. Oh, come on. Or at least they're not dashless berries. Yeah, that's, that's the way we get across here. I think we fall down here, don't we? Uh, Oh boy, the, the pathing on, I'm sh There's a gap. Oh, there we are. There's a gap. Woo! Hello. Hello. Hi. Is that the end of chapter one? No, we got, uh, we haven't waken Carlos up yet. It's such a long time since I played. All right, so we're three berries on this one. And there's berry number one. Right off the bat. meant to. Oh boy. So, I take it there isn't a golden out here. I don't mean golden. So, no way back. Whoopsie! All I was trying to do was like get on here. That's all I was trying to do. But obviously there's no point.
Where do we go from here, though? Is that really like the normal sort of level? Wow. One in here somewhere. Oh, don't you tease me like that. Didn't you say that there was the same amount as berries in this as there was in Celeste? 175? Oh. 125 um do you know what would be better rather than doing it in the title um Set to ten. What if somebody can just type exclamation mark berries for me at them for a minute in the chat? Okay. Um, ha. Uh, maybe I'll look at that for like the next stream. I'll try and get something put in place for the next stream instead. Um, man, pizza's good any time of the day. Alright, money. Catch you later. Yeah, maybe I'll look at that for the next stream. Um, I will see if I can get something implemented for next time. Let's go work out how we get the other side of this wall here. Maybe that's an option.
Yeah, that is what I wanted, Sonny. Um, hey, by the way, what's going on? Hope you're well. Um, but I wanted to see if I could, like, automate a command or something or do something like that. Um... I mean, it would still need some form of updating from somebody, and I've just gone out of bounds again. Haven't I? Finding ways to break things. It's the knock way. I'm gonna lie here though, I have no idea how I get the other side of this wall to get this berry here. Unless there's a way I can climb and get height somewhere else and stash across. Which could be an option. Pretty sure it's just possible to get over the invisible wall. Oh yeah. Oh boy. All right, so. I'll tell you what that came down to. That came down to the fact that I was um, not really thinking properly about how and where I could use the dash. So I was just kind of like, I was trying to dash forward, but I realized I could actually like just dash like upwards instead. And that had a better sort of outcome. So we're all done on this level. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that whole segment is just... Um, you don't need to knock down anyway. You just need to look at my face. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't okay. get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Or we can die. That works too. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Here we go. Here's where the fun starts. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Okay. 
Oh. oh boy, there's, there's, I can see it now. There's going to be a lot of deaths trying to get this berry. Place your bets now. How many deaths will Nock endure trying to get this berry? I had a dash left the incinerator though. Room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Okay, maybe we'd be better just to try and attack this area here. It seems more logical. I can get on top of here, that is. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I get to? I legitimately got to here, didn't I? In this ledge here. Just trying to think here. stamina back but I tried I, I stepped on something and I got my here we are the incinerator room I stepped on something and I got my stamina back I don't know why or where I got it from when you threw them but I've just seen something else that this could potentially be. Should be around here somewhere once you find it we can start testing just like old time this wall. There we go. I'm going to start using quick saves. I hope nobody's got any objections with that. Oh, you. There's another counter for you, Iron Smell Tree. <laughs> the quick save counter. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you kidding me? That was that was a death, pre death prevention. Why am. Alright, I. Device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Hmm. 
you know what? It's so unnatural for me to like hold E. I don't know why. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. lesson I learned from what you did. I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. So. Where is this one? I'd say I would hide it in here, if anywhere. I heard it around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take a Gotta love those uh gotta love testing for the rest of your life, right? Sorry about the mess. I've really never heard that before. It's like the laser firing up. I don't think I've ever paid attention and heard that complete. before. Oh, good. That's back online. That's interesting. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves oh, deadly, deadly lasers, lasers and how test subjects, subjects react, react when locked in a room, room with deadly, deadly lasers. lasers. I haven't played this before. I guess I've got to go up and over. It would be too easy to just kind of like. Maybe. Right, let's try this again. Jeez. I'm not even like climb up the wall and I'm using stamina. I am a deadly laser. Uh, and I just want you know, I, I got no problem with you uh, being the counter. Count away, my friend, count away. I keep pressing the wrong button for wall climbing. I can't go up there. I 
think I'll probably stick to my original idea, you know, and... Just the one. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. No. Why is that you like... You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. That was like... I was walking on ice. No, no, I was just going up there just to see if there was like a way back there. That was all. I wasn't going through the... Um, I wasn't going through the, the thing and doing the thing with the thing. Don't worry. I'm just find, trying to find a like feasible way through here. Uh, everywhere I'm trying to stand on at the minute don't seem to be able to actually get enough height to get up and over and I think there's clips there and stuff so I don't know how to get through Why won't you just do the thing with the thing and exit? Well, the, the thing is with this one, so I don't even need to do the thing with the thing. I just just need to exit. All right, so maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe I need to instead... Go across there. The thing is obsolete, Sonny. In the words of Disney's Frozen 2, let it go, let it go. I don't know how to get over there. What? <laughs> All right. Is that genuinely a readme file in the... Okay, well, this is, this is new territory right here. Um, all right, so this, this could be a thing. Granted, it's on the wrong side. And then I could do... Nope, could I hit an invisible barrier? Well, if you haven't been around for if you haven't been around my uh, my channel for a, for a while, then um, I am the king of overcomplications.
I genuinely don't know how else to go about this, though. Um, the berry. Alright, I think we might be like on our first First berry, I don't know how to get. Crouch, then dash. That's what I was trying to do. I did, I have tried to crouch. But I can't, I can't get, I can't get my fingers to do a crouch and a dash. And I don't even think it's, I don't even think it's, uh, I don't even think it's like working like that e either. Anyway, so. Seriously, I cannot, I cannot, I haven't got enough fingers to do that. What's the idea here? I'd like jump out, crouch and... What? How on earth are you supposed to like hit crouch and do the dash when like it's the shift and control key? I just... I can't. I got... No, sorry. I don't like to quit on things, but I don't think I'm capable of doing that in such a short, such a short. Sp <sighs> Stand in the water and crouch. That's not happening. It's not happening. I tried that.
Seriously though, if this is like what I have to do for this one. Because I literally can't do this with a normal keyboard stance. This is like beyond crazy. can't get in there. There is no way I can get in there. Sorry, I know you guys are probably saying it's pretty easy. But that's not easy for me at all. Literally, I'm having to take my whole hand off, the whole hand off the keyboard, jump, hold, crouch, press that, and then hold. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm literally. Look, look, look. Let me let, let, let me show you what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. I'm aiming up. Jump, crouch, shift, hold forward, hold, crouch, but not doing it. I can't program my freaking fingers to do anything else other than that. Let me go a bit further back. So now you say no jumping. Okay. Did, did, did I miss that memo? Or have you not previously said, has anybody not previously said that? Knocking Celeste can get the Summit Seaside Goldberry, no problem. Can't crash in a hole. Jeez. That was pretty tough though. I'm not particularly great at keyboards. I was... I'm... I've always been brought up on controllers so this next test involves for me i'm still trying to adapt to keyboard and mouse for a lot of games and then my fingers manual. just don't well, episode. deal so with now it very we'll well both get to see how they work there should be one in the corner oh it how is that like solid from one side? That kind of didn't make sense. I'm gonna play this on a controller. Yeah, but to, I, I, although I just made that statement, it's like I don't think I could play Portal 2 on a controller. Does that make sense? It probably sounds like a massive contradiction, I know, but...
I knew I should have saved. The one thing I've I've been like massively worried about this is like taking too much time farting about with these berries because I don't like I don't like quitting anything. down. So can I get around there any other way? I wonder. That all seems pretty solid. Um, plus that seems like it's blocked off, so maybe I'm just... Completely missing something obvious here. It's all solid, so. might be another crouch jump, but... So that sort of goes around there, looking at the natural sort of curve of the geometry, and I don't think there's another way into there, is there? does make an appearance. We are on it. Pretty sure there's a solid wall there, so trying to get up there seems a bit futile. Slowly slide down.
I think this just solidifies my original theory that there is nothing else to... Yeah, there's, there's nothing up there, so... It's a non-solid prop. tips for this one? Any ideas, any things that I've not tried, I've not thought of at all? No, I was trying to do a crouch, like a crouch jump, so I jumped through here. So definitely not that. I assume I'm going through that gap and I can't be through here, really, can I? No. That's too low. That was too high. Ah, there we go. W is key. Thank you. It's all good. So I just gotta get out of here again. I find it baffling that um Miss Berries? I missed a golden? Okay, well, that's interesting because it wasn't... Um, the first golden was... Um, I had an icon down here for it. Oh yeah, I know. I oh, that. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah. Here come the test results. You are. I thought you meant I'd missed person. another one. That's what it says. Oh. Yeah, we know about the first one, so that's fine. That's fine. Don't let that. Golden in here. Horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better. Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Where's the 
That's a golden. And here's the regular. Skip this one and don't even think about it. Oh, is that not solid? Maybe though I could do something a little bit different here. over. There we go. It looks such an innocent berry though. Just like all stood over there. Not really doing much. Looks totally innocent. The whole ceiling is solid. Ah, okay, well. Then that complicates matters. Alright, so I think we're going to stick by the philosophy of let's not go for let's not go for goldens. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. What's going on, Ellie? How are you? Hope you are well. Good to see you as always. One moment. Uh, isn't that a portless berry, this one? We've You'll only missed two goldens at the minute. Um, I can build them. So I'm feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. How does this mod work? Exactly the same way as Celeste, just with Paul. Does that help at all? Okay, well, the berry is definitely not up here. Ah, uh, yes, I know how to pull a bump. Wow, I can just like walk straight through here. Right, so hold on, right? 
So this is a portalless berry. Hold on, I'm massively overthinking this, aren't I? As he dies in the goo. So, hold on. Can I not just do this, this? No? I guess not. I'm not going to be enough stamina to do that, so I won't do that. Really bad at this. <laughs> maybe as an idea, rather than sort of, maybe rather than like doing the whole thing, is it easier to sort of like isolate the one count that you want to update? Iron smeltery. So if you said you got it in a text file, maybe have each counter on a different line and then just update and paste that one individual counter each time. Just a suggestion. Just so you're, like, you're not bombarding tech, uh, the chat all the time. I can't... Okay, that's a good idea. I just can't seem to kind of... I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. <laughs> Do you know what that <laughs> didn't break the cube? But now that we've done that, though, we can do things uh, a little bit easier. Because now we can use the... Um... Now we can use the platform. And do this. Water yeah. Over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Very much like um, the winged berries, you can use a dash as soon as you've picked it up. So, uh, yeah, slight oversight. Ah, there's a golden in here. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Megas is just like, nope, sorry, knock. 
this one too hard for you. Just like blatantly. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take I would just like just to like see where room. it is though, to be fair. I'm not too bothered about it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I'm not too fussed about where it is as such. To be honest, I don't even think I've made that connection. So, uh. I can't even see it. I have no idea. I'm guessing it's up there, is it? I'm just like, I'm really curious. There's like one tile you can go through in this entire ceiling. The problem is though, I mean, it's... I guess if you need momentum for this, that kind of makes it difficult because there's no portal surface on the floor or anything. Do 
the cube jumps? Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> I didn't really notice that before about this chamber as well. Quite interestingly, like the like the transition here. There's like a, a, a total transition from the old dilapidated chambers to like a brand new kind of new updated. So, yeah, I'd never noticed that before actually. The amount of times I've played the game before as well is uh, quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Let's see what the next test. Uh, so we've got two, two regular and one. No, I never noticed it. Early. I'm I'm quite oblivious sometimes when it comes to game details. So, no, I hadn't noticed it. So we've got three, yes. two regular oh, and a portalless well, here. I think. I'm soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Yes, you really should, if you haven't done already. If you're into your puzzle games, go play Recursed. So, if I had to hazard a guess... <laughs> I get tired. See what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. No, I don't want to go through there. Most likely, I didn't want to go through there. I wanted to go through Ratman's den. Well, I'm guessing there's going to be one at the. I hope it's not a freaking portal, this buried because we're pretty screwed if it is. So my hunches are, obviously we know there's one over there. There could be one in the ceiling. Uh, there could be one in the Ratman den. And there could also be one over here. In here somewhere, possibly. That's based on the assumption we can get through... That's death. You could say I didn't really go about that very well. Weird lighting.
Okay, well, that answers that question. We can't go through there, so I'm going to rule out that as a possibility for uh, a berry in there. Let's head back over here and we'll do the whole Ratman den. Game felt pity on me at least. I was looking at the wrong portal surface. I was like, I'm sure there's a freaking ledge here, but it's there I want to be on. So, with regards to the Is there anything like in particular or anything special I need to know about like the quantum berry? Does it have like a special rule set of some description or a special condition? Is that uh, bias? That's appreciated. Also, at 22 berries, you've missed one somewhere. We're at 22 berries. So yeah, the, um, the whole quantum berry thing. to do Ice Palace? Good question. That's a good question, Eddie. Okay, I have an idea. It's probably going to end badly. I have an idea. And that's basing it on my assumption that this one is in the roof. Oh man.
Okay. I got up here. So how much of this is solid? <laughs> is my next question. didn't die there. counter to <laughs> so I, I came up here and there's Supportless berry? No. <sighs> okay, so Map are we on? Okay. I just gotta get out of here now without dying. Do you know what? I almost had it there as well. I almost got out of there without dying. cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was... Not knew I was going to place that. <laughs> Did you know that people with guilty consciences... Alright, so what we got here, we got... We've got a regular and a portalless. I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Okay. 
Okay, we can get out of here without so. Not sure how I did that there, but that was a thing I did. stand on top of this window. So, let's go get our portalus first. Just to be on the safe side. Um... Excuse me? Excuse me? Ha! Huh. So there's, there's like a, they put a player clip in there? Wow, okay. That was, um... Valve put a player clip in there to stop you from getting up there too early, I guess. There's the other berry. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit. There so we go. So that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. Alright guys, well, we've had a good stab at this tonight. We are... What are we? If that one... Give us the stats, Iron Smeltry. Give us the, the final stats for tonight. We've got... Your... Um... Your berry counter is uh, is not good. Your, your berry counter is all over the place. We we had twenty two. You're saying twenty five in the chat. Your your, your thing says twenty three. Ah. The but the total berry count though does. <laughs> The total berry count also includes the um, portalless ones, though. So we've got 24 in total, of which three are portalless. Sorry, 24 in total, even I'm wrong, of which three are the... So, all right, we'll just... Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a blast. Um, let's not do that just yet. Uh, we'll be pick this up again tomorrow night. Uh, we'll make our way through a little bit more, see if we can get a few more berries uh, along the way. Um, it's quite good fun. I hope you're um, sticking with me through uh, my pain and suffering as we go through this. But uh, yeah, really enjoying it so far. I kind of got more berries so far than I intended to get. Um, but uh, yeah. We'll try and do that without too many golden berries because the golden berries, I think, as uh, chat has suggested, are just absolutely crazy. <sighs> but as you can tell, it's time for me to sign off for tonight, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you have all been awesome. I've been Knock. You, like I said, have been awesome. See ya.